Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. We've got a beautiful day here to shoot a video. I've got only two or three more here on the lot to video. This one, an 825 and a 1052 used. All three of these are available. Um, so this one right here didn't work out with the customer. The 825 dudes in Canada. Hey, if you're watching this, I need you to call me. But uh, anyways, phone number doesn't work, email's not working, so 825 is available and uh, use 1052 is available if anybody's interested. So uh, anyways, today we're going to be checking out this 2022 Lance 1172, this one right here behind me. Um, this one right here, everybody wants to know what price is, but first we're going to go over the truck that you need to see if you even need to know the price. So these right here, the only ones that require a dually per lance, uh, they start out at 4,318 pounds dry and 4,772 pounds wet. That's definitely getting into that one ton dually territory. You need a long bed model, um, 3,500 series, 350, 450, all that'll work. Flatbeds, everybody calls me with the uh, flatbeds asking what truck camper works. I have no idea i don't know what the measurements are on your flatbed so i uh, don't know if it works or doesn't work anyways so we'll just get right to it here all right oh yeah price now that we got the uh, truck listed i told you i'd give you price so pricing starts out at seventy two thousand three dollars msrp uh, and then you can price them all the way up to about eighty eight eight eighty nine thousand uh, dollars msrp if you are interested give me a call we'll go over price and set you up get you a fair deal and out the door really the fair deal is it's here and available and you don't have to wait nine to twelve months so that's the deal all right so like i said we'll start over here we'll go around the camper uh the 1172s for 22 have the dual pane acrylic windows just like all the others uh, i really like these windows because they kick out really far let a lot of um, ambient light and natural air flow through we got the dually swing out brackets here for all the fat butts. That's actually standard on these models. You don't have to add it. Park them things right underneath there. What you see over here, this cord hanging down, that's going to be Lance's uh, custom wiring harness. We installed the truck side plug here for you, no additional cost. Um, all electric jacks around all four corners. If you ever have jack failure, which I haven't on mine yet, knock on wood. Uh, you would uh, fold this knob, or not that knob, the switch down and get to cranking. Or Happy Jack supplies you with a adapter fitting to go in there in a drill and you can drill it up and down. Mountain graphics are now standard for 2022. They darkened them up a bit. Looks really good. I like the, uh, I like the aesthetics of this camper. Looks slick, looks mean. I like it. All black accents and everything instead of white. That white would turn yellow, and these right here, of course, don't turn yellow because they're black. But anyways, we got our uh, we got a couple outdoor compartments here, insulated door hatches, and a magnetic strip to hold up the door. Very convenient. It is carpeted. I don't know the exact depth of this, but if you look at my arm, it's like that deep and this wide. Very specific measurements there. That deep and this wide. I'll do better next time all right so that's pretty much it as far as like the siding and everything you got two slide outs on this model and i will show you what this camper looks like with the slides in i don't know why people want to hide that kind of need to know that stuff all right underneath here we've got all of our campground connections on this side i'm getting ahead of myself trying to show you stuff all right you got your city water connection here black water flush and then Right up here is your 30 amp cord. Brad, how does it stay in? Well, it screws on. If you look there, you might even be able to see that. Screws on there, it's not gonna fall. All right, now we'll come over here. All right, so you got your liquid waste, your body waste, freshwater tank drain, cold and hot water lines. Your freshwater tank is 42 gallon capacity. And then your uh, liquid and body waste is 35 gallon capacity. 
uh, let's see, liquid waste is going to be like your sink water, uh, shower water, stuff like that. Uh, body waste is going to be, uh, you know, doo doo and pee pee. Is that appropriate for YouTube? Not sure. Parking satellite connections, main battery disconnect, outdoor shower. Somebody's hollering at me over the intercom. Got to go get this phone call. Be right back. Okay, pretty sure we left off right here. We went over that. This is going to be the onboard generator. This is not standard. This is a 55, no, I think it's like $5,075 option, if I'm not mistaken. But it sure is nice to have on board. I've been using mine like there's no tomorrow on my 975. It's parked right over there. I'm taking full advantage, making a monthly payment just to have a oven on the lot and a fridge uh, full of cold beer. So, um, not really using mine as a camper right now, just kind of like a little getaway office at the office. On the back here, we've got a massive storage compartment underneath this rear slide. Everything's a whole lot easier to get to when it's on the truck. That little shelf in there. Um, I don't really know how much weight this is rated for. I haven't been able to find anything on that, but I do know that there's customers out there that load this to the gills without anything falling through. So if there was, I'd probably be receiving a lot of complaints. Uh, also here on the back, we got our backup camera, rear docking lights. Uh, make sure I'm not skipping anything. The, uh, what they call the fat ladder here, it's rated for like 250 pounds. Um, you can put your turd taxi on here. Um, for many of you that don't know what a turd taxi is, that would be your portable uh, waste tank. I was trying to actually figure out what the real name for it was. I don't refer to things by the real name, I guess. All right, so on this side here, this is the campground side. This is where all the magic happens, all the fun. Uh, we've got four season certification here. We are rated for all four. We got spring, summer, winter, fall. And in that order too. So uh, as long as you got the furnace going, you're going to be supplying heat to the basement. And that's going to supply heat to your water tanks, your uh, cold, and uh, your water lines, all that good stuff. Um, and then we also have the insulated door hatches with ducted heat to your compartments. And we're certified green. Go Earth. Uh, let's see. Keyless entry is now standard on all 2022 models. I couldn't even tell you the key uh, code number on mine. I just carry the key in my pocket. I like to use the key rack. A little vent there for the oven. Uh, the out outdoor hand warmer right here. This time of year it's unneeded, but in the winter it sure is nice. It's actually for the furnace. Outdoor speakers. Uh, this is where you fill your potable water. And again, that is 42 gallon capacity. Skip that. Why don't I skip this? Got two 30 pound tanks, seven gallon, whatever you want to call them. 110 outlets. Uh, there's our fresh water pump with our little line here that you dump in the pink stuff to winterize. A little bypass valve. But yes, all this is ducted heat. Let's see comes out somewhere over here there it is and water tank uh, water heater service area put that up I think we got us a outdoor yep propane connection right here all right let's see what this thing looks like with the uh, slide this one's already got the lithium battery upgrade in it that's like $2,600 but I, it allows me to be able to roll this in without going to get the jumper box. This one is not prepped and ready to go yet. Just rolling this guy right in. You'll be able to see that there is absolutely no entry. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And there you have it. Nobody on planet Earth can squeeze through there. I'm nearly positive of that. No going underneath it, no going around it. Nobody's getting in there. But now I'm gonna show you the roof. Here we are up in the sky, fully walk on roof. Lance advertises a 20 year roof warranty. Say cheese. cheese. <laughs>
walking over the skylights we've got two solar panels these are 100 watt you can get up to two through the factory they don't come with any awning slide out cover tv antenna upgraded ac this is the coleman mach 11 roof rack crossbars if you can figure out how to get the kayaks up here you can tie them down up here by the way these uh slide outs do need to be run in to gain access to the roof so you can get on that ladder believe it or not i have climbed up the ladder and crossed over the little slide out there up on the roof without running it in and i couldn't figure out how to get back down so if any of my previous co-workers are watching this i'm sure you remember that and find it hilarious all right so over here to the right this is where all of our uh, controls are for the camper you got your entry light there that open or turns that light on you got your switch here that controls the rear slide out and then your side one is controlled on the remote right there this is mobile by the way and just stay there oh let's see where was i backup camera switch docking lights um these are your side patio lights you have an orange and white light just up and down and in the middle's off uh, electric jack remotes uh, port and then slide out mechanism uh, this is where you turn the power off to your slide if you were to have to say manually roll it in you would uh, turn it off first and like I said before this is where your batteries are this customer ordered them with the lithium battery upgrade it does have the Grayson interior let's see where you want to start on this let's we can start in the back here I guess turn our lights on all right these are mood lights too by the way you can set the mood in here really get with it but uh here is this used to be where the slide out pantry was that's no longer an option but that's okay you can get baskets and use it as a slide out pantry still with you know baskets i'm a problem solver not creator plenty of potato chip bag storage or whatever else you want to shove in there then we've also got this nice lovely rear couch it's like a futon style bed if you got you know kids or adults that you don't care about that go with you you just kick them out on this oh look at that one-handed and i'm a pretty big boy I, I could a few beers in you can make that work i am six foot for reference i used to think i was six one until i actually measured myself and you know guys in measuring by the way underneath here it does have a lot more storage you got to utilize every space when it comes to truck campers you also have these nice kickouts this is not for reclining it's just for putting your feet up and looking awkward then you just push in push down that closes them there's our clock without batteries. I'm gonna get some airflow going through here. Holy cow. All right, see what I'm talking about out there? This kicks out so far. I mine, the old style windows kick out like this far. This is almost triple the length that mine will kick out. And you still have these nice pull down shades. Well, hang on. Maybe you pull in the middle here. There we go. First, you gotta know how to work them then it works but uh you want to keep the bugs out that'll help everybody talks about bugs like they're not going to make their way in their camper anyways they're going to get in your camper there's no keeping them out at least i haven't figured it out on mine and i've got the uh glass windows with the built-in screen so when you figure out how to keep bugs out let me know but uh my camper is not a bug free zone unfortunately uh, I guess we'll go to the kitchen area next all right so over here in the kitchen area I've got this box in the way all right so we've got a three burner cooktop here 
this runs off the propane you've got you a nice oven here I believe this one does have the self-ignite I just figured out on mine the other day that it has self-ignite so that's pretty freaking sweet you don't have to get you a lighter and cram it down in there so deep uh, let's see what else was I going to show you probably want to see all this stuff to Ooh, key rack I got two keys there you go key rack works all right so over here you got your microwave I believe that's just like your standard RV microwave then we've got us some storage beside the microwave and right over here oh there's where they put our weights all right so on this one we have 4,772 pounds wet oh let's see no no we are 5,030 pounds wet with factory installed equipment um subtract 404 to get your dry weight so that would put you around what 46 26 something like that if my math is off, correct me down below, but I think that's 46, 26 dry, 5,030 wet. Nobody ever said these things are light. That's why you gotta have the truck to do the job. All right, over here, we got our sink covers. I'll just move them out of the way real quick. So when you're using the sink, this is a one bowl, not separated bowl. Um, when you aren't using the sink, and you need more prepping area for what you're cooking look at all this you got all this countertop space let me fix that real quick there we go you've got quite a bit of countertop space here um, and then you could also use this to prep um, I do most of my cooking outside the camper but you know this is all in the bed of your truck so you gotta you know make do with what you got but to get this back down you gotta get that get that down ac plug in so you can put your keurig coffee pot instapot instacook whatever you use to you know feed your needs feed your stomach you got an ac plug in for it over there uh underneath don't want to forget this Got a pull out door that's non slam. One day that's going to slam and I'm going to look like a goop. Got a little bit of storage underneath the sink here and a little bit more underneath the storage underneath the sink. Two more pull out drawers. Pull out game strong. If you don't like this part, skip ahead. I know some people don't like to see me open drawers. That's perfectly okay. You're not hurting my feelings. AC plug ins. Got a couple more of them. This is where you start your generator, check your battery levels, fresh water, gray water, and black water. Um, over here is our solar panel control. Uh, that's where you check how many volts and amps and all that good stuff, where your batteries are at. All right. Over here, let's see. Hold up. Before I move on, you can get a convection microwave with this. If you want to free up some space for more storage, you can absolutely do that. You delete the microwave and go with the convection microwave option or convection oven option, and that replaces your oven. So just remember, if you do that, you're getting rid of the oven and the microwave and going with a convection oven. And then you gain more storage space that's just like this. Okay, now we're moving on. Uh, this is our dinette. Like I said before, this is the Grayson interior option. You have Grayson, Bronzite, and Lapis. Grayson's this uh, gray color. Bronzite, everywhere you see gray, is going to be like a brownish color. And your rear couch is going to be brown. And then Lapis, I promise you that's not an STD. It's the color of the interior. You're looking at uh, like a royal blue. That's going to be replacing all the gray here and going to be ro or like a kind of like a midnight blue to me but uh and then your whole rear couch is uh like a midnight blue all right this also makes into a bed super easy to convert it's going to be 44 inches by 71 inches so that would uh sleep me just fine you've got these pull out drawers underneath right here all right so if you go in one of these and go to pull on it and it doesn't open that means you're doing it wrong you don't yank harder it just means that you're doing it wrong See this button right here? You press that, 
zoom in on that and then you pull that unlocks it and then you lock it down for towing okay got some more mood lights so you can set the mood in two different areas of this camper AC outlet pretty sure I skipped over some outlets back here I'm trying not to skip anything people really like to see it got AC outlets USB and DC outlets down there here is our swinging TV pull that latch release it and you can swing it this way towards the bed you can swing it towards the dinette or you can maneuver it a little bit to face towards the couch and I can't do that with one hand I'm pretty sure something has to be loosened back there but then you could face it towards the couch but for now I don't have that many hands to work with and we're just going to close it back up you got you some magazine DVD racks uh, whatever you want to put down in there I was really close to all that my bad Alrighty, here's our AC unit. Like I said out there, that's the Coleman Mach 11 with the built-in heat strip. Very powerful AC unit. It's not quiet by any means. Um, I sleep with mine on if that tells you anything. Uh, here's our six cubic foot fridge. Plenty of room. Should I be spending more time on uh, the fridge? to her or is is this enough like just open it and closing it i do listen to the comments everybody said that they wanted to continue to see the roof tour so the roof tours live on all right right across the street from the fridge you have this massive dry bath and it's actually roomy enough for me my 225 pound six foot self and I'm not saying that to brag. I know that there's guys out there that are way bigger than me. But there's your dry uh, dry bath. There's a shower, toilet, plenty of knee room. But uh, 1172, 975, 1062 are very popular for the dry bath. A lot of people like it. Towel rack there. A little vent in here so you can air it out. You don't have to torture everybody else inside the camper when you blow it up or if you need to get rid of some humidity there's where they hide your toilet paper holster pull out door ac plug-ins and back over here you have your water tank water heater okay pretty sure that's everything in there uh, there's your wall controlled thermostat radio that doesn't play blu-ray maybe if i say that enough there's a blu-ray dvd player that they can put in there i don't know be cool if they did all righty they probably don't because everybody's moving to fire stick or you know them roku sticks or whatnot i bet you there's a reason for it i don't know i don't know the answer to it Anyways, this is a 60 by 80 inch mattress, so that means it's a true queen size mattress. If you're looking for sheets to purchase for yours, it is queen size. Got us some storage over here to the left. Got some storage up here. Here's our ceiling titties. Those are uh, speakers, by the way. Right over here, we've got us a closet suppose you could fit all your belongings in there a uh, little storage over there to the right where's uh there it is the ac plugins for all my cpap users storage over to the left not as big as that one and our skylight you can really open this sucker up so your feet can stare at the stars at night very neat Okay, I was also going to let you know that there is 11 foot, 11 inches of floor space from where I'm standing to where the couch is. That'll help give you a visual. I know there's not many to look at in stock, so that kind of, you know, I don't know, that's, that sucks, right? But uh, I do have this one available if you want to come check it out, look at it. We are here. We are open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. I get here at 9. Um, I've got the dream schedule 9 to 5, and then... 
Saturdays, nine to three. Super easy schedule, right? I'm sure somebody will make fun of me for that in the comments. But uh, anyways, that was a tour of the 2022 Lance 1172 double slide truck camper. Uh, it is, it does require a dually. So you need to get you a 350 or 3500 series or 450 series long bed fat butt to park park underneath it that'll help get you the payload now every truck camp or truck does have a different payload it's your duty as the buyer to research the truck that's going to work with uh, work for you that has the weight rating and that can do the job i don't have a crystal ball that tells me what your truck's payload rating is um so do your due diligence do your research make sure that you purchase the truck camper or truck to haul the truck camper all I can do is tell you the stuff about the truck camper and how much it weighs. It's your job to do the rest. Um, so, like I said, this camper right here uh, retails around the 88 mark. Uh, if interested, give me a call. We'll work you up a price. Um, but like I said at the beginning of the video, there's about a 9 to 12 month wait on these. So for me to have one available, that's pretty good. If you're actually wanting one, might want to jump right on it because by the time i post this video it'll probably sell within a week and i'm probably overshooting that but anyways i'm brad over here at chattanooga fishing fun thank you for watching the video it's people like you that help keep this channel going so thank you thank you thank you for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do so if you want to if you want to see another video from me for some reason you can hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when my goofy self uploads another video if you like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. Uh, if you have any questions, you can either comment below or call me. 423-892-6272. All the information is going to be in the description below. I'll have my email down there. Uh, retail of the camper, all that good stuff that you need to know. I don't know what else to tell you, to be honest with you. So, uh, I think I'm about to log off of here. Anyways, my name's Brad. This is Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Give me a call. Until next time, y'all take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.